Hey everybody, this is Robert Wheeler with White Bone Knives. Today I wanted to share something uh, pretty special to me, and it's my very first for sale titanium frame lock flipper. Um, a lot of hard work went into making this. Uh, this is the very first completed one for sale. I know I showed you guys that one a while back, um, and that was kind of like a prototype just to really fully understand the way these things work. And I had a lot of research and development in this knife, and uh, I think I have thought it up pretty well. Fits really, really nice in hand, um, functions really great, and that's why it's been taking so long. So I apologize if you've been wanting one of these. It's been taking me a long time because I want it to be absolutely 100% right for you guys. Um, this is a whole nother animal compared to fixed blades, so... Um, just trying to get it all right for you guys for sale. Um, so I want to go over a little bit more about the knife and um, basically it's a full titanium frame lock flipper and I mean flipper when I say you press this tab back here and it flips open and it deploys. Um, this was a theme knife for a 90s anime that I watched growing up as a kid. Uh, still watch it today, love DBZ. Um, but yeah, that's the anime, Dragon Ball Z. And I got the Z here for the logo. And I got the yellow, I decided to go yellow slash gold to represent the Super Saiyan. And then I just put a lightning strike pattern all the way down. I thought it was really, really cool. Turned out really nice. Um, I will say that on here, on the lock face, I did a method, or well, a step called carbonizing, and I can't show you unless I take it apart, but basically, I put a layer of carbide on the lock face, and then the titanium does not stick to the steel when you try to unlock it. So, that's very smooth. The action is very smooth. It's on... Nylatron washers deploys pretty darn quick for Nylatron. Um, I've seen a couple guys that they just couldn't seem to make it very smooth, um, or not very smooth, but uh, fast. They couldn't get it to deploy fast, but I think I've got it to deploy pretty darn quick. Um, and that's no wrist action or anything. So there you go. It opens up pretty fast. Really nice. Um, I'll show you down here. I decided to put my name on the inside of this backspacer. And it's just in there. I didn't want to put my logo up on the blade. I feel like it would clutter this knife if I did that. So I kind of wanted to stay subtle about it and put it on the inside right there. And, um, there's that backspacer from the back. It's all sculpted to be a rock pattern along the back there. Kind of following with these ridges right here. Um, but yeah, that's the knife overall. Pretty special to me because it's my very first one that's going out for sale. Um, I love doing this build. It was really, really fun. And it was, uh... Very nostalgic to see all the DBZ theme and everything. So, but yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, that's my very first folder that's going to be up for sale on Instagram. And uh, it'll be an auction, and it'll be starting out at $400. I have several people already interested, uh, just waiting for it to come along. And like I said, I apologize. It's been so long to release this knife or release any of these folders, but just wanted to make it sh make sure that it was all 100% correct. And now I know that it is, um, it will be listed for sale. So it, it might be up sometime next week. Uh, I'm waiting on some ca a ca case in the mail. Um, so it'll have a, well, another thing you might notice is that it doesn't have a pocket clip. Um, personally, I do not like pocket clips. Uh, so this will come with a holster. It's going to be a nylon holster. 
wrapped in paracord and it'll just go into your belt that way and uh, you'll unvelcro the patch slip the knife slip the knife in and be on your way i do not like pocket clips <laughs> um i feel like they just take away from the knife and they get on your hands and they just i don't know they don't feel right to me and plus i never use them i just stuck this knife or i stuck all my pocket knives in my pocket but i will like the holster feature um, I think a lot of people will really like the holster as well. So, be on the lookout on Instagram. If you would like to be on the notification list, just email me saying that you would like to be on that list, and I will notify you a couple days before auction. The auction will run for a whole week, and uh, the price will start out at $400. So, let me know what you guys think, and uh, until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.